right, boys and girls, and welcome to Goran Guitar. A beautiful song here, very beautiful, from Lana Del Rey and Rob Grant. It's called Lost at Sea. So, Lost at Sea is a piano-based song here. I'm gonna give it to you on a guitar. And uh, yeah, we're gonna use the capo on the sixth fret because we want the possibilities to get high notes we want here. And this is uh, just a way of showing you how you could play this one, it differs a little bit. It's not gonna be absolutely not note by note here compared to original. Um, Cause the original is, uh, it has a piano with notes we cannot reach and that's that. So I'm gonna give you uh, two variations of playing this one, so to speak. And uh, yeah, you can play it with it. So let's dive into this one. Capo on six and we have these four chords that goes around and around in the same order. So let's first learn the chords. The first one will be A minor. So that is open A, second D, second G, first B and open E. The next one is the F. So it's a bar chord. You place the bar here on the first fret over all strings and then the rest will be third on A, third on D and second on G. We have C next. So that is Third on A, second on D, open G, first B, and open E. And then the final chord is the G. So that is third on E, second on A, open D, open G, open B, and third E. All right, so um, what I meant by two variations is that you can start and play on different strings. The chords will be the same, all right? So it goes in that order, A minor, F, C, and G, in the order we learned the chord. And the pattern will be the same, all right? So it's the bass note here. Let's take A minor, for example. You hold the chord, and the bass note here will be on the A string. And then you play that pattern. It's like a pyramid. Depending on where you start, you play like I did now on the G string. Then you go to B, and then to E, then back to B, and back to G. So it goes like a pyramid, G, B, E, B, G. But you can also start on the D string with this pyramid, so you play always the bass string, which is the A now in this case, A minor. And then you start on D string instead, so you can play D, G, B, and then back to G, and back to D. So that's kind of two variations of playing this song to get a little bit darker on the starting with the D string here in the pyramid or you go down and play the absolute highest the notes here from the chord. So you just follow the same pattern when it comes to F now. The bass note now will be of course on the E string here, the first fret E string. Here you can choose to play the pyramid wherever you want to start it. You can start it on the A string or the D. On the G. It's up to you there. So it follows the same pattern here. Three strings down and back to the second and first string. That's kind of how the pyramid works. And next uh, chord here will be the C. You just start here again on the A string and then you play the same pattern for A minor and then you have the final chord, the G. You play the same pattern for F. So you have possibilities here for G and F to have more variations here, depending on where you want to start your pyramid. You're going to play two uh, picking patterns per chord. So A minor. alternated uh, the pyramid here and just switch it up a little bit and that gives a great effect on this song. That's pretty much what happens in Lost at Sea from Lana Del Rey and Rob Grant. Give it a try guys, a great way to practice your finger picking if you use uh, all your fingers like I do uh, and or just to pick certain notes with a pick. It's a great practice there as well. So 
yeah if you enjoyed this tutorial please let me know thumb up subscribe if you haven't yet of course and till next time play tuned